I've got cardigans on. <laughs> so it's a little bit colder. It's there. December. Oh. Ready? Is he off to? Yes. <laughs> ah, it's focusing on both of our faces as well. Good. So somebody must have switched that over to the other thing. And welcome to Vlogmas 8. Mm. It's Thursday, so it's a Pips cast. Hope that's all right with everyone. And uh, we're taking a break in the weather because mm. it's actually stopped raining. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, there's no sort of deluge of water sound coming. And. Uh, well, that's the thing. It's quite isn't bright, it? isn't it? So it's nice and bright. It's nice now. and bright now. It's been very um, noisy, the rain, hasn't yeah, it, really? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So this peace and quiet. But the sun's come out. It's lovely. Yeah. You know, the break, when it does stop raining, the solar's getting quite a bit of power at the moment as well, just which for that. Which we like, desperately need. Which we do need. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, just from this little bit of sun. So that's handy. Because at the minute, yeah, we're in the. What's the word? Oh, we winter can... so i've got um like a worth a, a week's worth i don't know darren might be able to i'll show you and darren mm. can sort of put it in um on the weather app mm. today is light rain showers tomorrow is thundery showers mm. saturday it's not actually meant to rain but the chance of rain is still in the high teens mm. and then all the way through it's either light rain heavy rain or thundery rain mm. until until wednesday the 21st of december <laughs> hooray excellent <laughs> so uh yeah so it just changed things a little bit in trying to manage the power doesn't it Absolutely, that we've got yes. yeah and just when we're just on such a basic setup at the moment we are yes. and um i suppose um, just think I was just thinking about the power really and a few people mm -hmm. have helped us out haven't they they've, they've talked we talked on a previous video we talked about the kettle yeah us trying to find a kettle and all we could find was a thousand watts our inverter will just about it says peak 1000 so we could have possibly used one I think of those kettles but it wouldn't have been brilliant so people have said what have they said it's like a travel kettle yeah travel kettles mm. induction loads of brilliant oh, ideas yeah, coming through so thank you very much yeah. um you know from from using your standard plug-in electricity microwaves induction mm. hobs mm. loads of things that we have actually thought of yeah. but they're for sort of further on down the line mm. when the solar is more organized organized yeah. and it's um in the summer when it's likely to be mm. every single day you're getting some more sun than you need kind yeah. of stuff i think at the moment so, we're learning as well we're still we learning are. about just, the solar what it can give us and how we're long in that high high <sighs> peak what would you well, call it no we're in yeah. a we're in a we're dip for solar. Oh, for solar, yes. No, I was talking. Our learning curve, our learning curve. is pretty steep at the moment. Yeah, yeah, so. definitely very yeah. steep. Yeah. So yeah. So so thanks very much for all of the advice. It's excellent, and we're trying yeah. to um, take on board as much as we can. Mm -hmm. But that does then involve a lot of sort of a lot of extra research, which is great because we're learning lots. Um, but we did find a kettle. I just wanted to mention that we did find a travel kettle on Amazon, which we think we can get delivered here. Yeah, um, so might come before Christmas yeah. if we ordered it today. <laughs> yeah, I think it might. So that's an option. That's something we're definitely looking at. So that's uh, yeah, it's one of those ones that plugs into like the cigarette lighter, that type of thing. Yeah, your twelve yeah. volt. Twelve volt. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, something else I wanted to just mention today was we were we did the van, uh, not the van, the land tour just mm -hmm. recently, yeah. um, and people have commented lovely. Thanks very much about the um, the drone shot as well, which I thought was really good. It kind of gave an idea of people have said that they yeah. said that it was very good, and it gave them an idea of the kind of scale of the land and how it kind of sat. Yeah, what it actually looked like. It was it's yeah. a really good visual, especially where yeah. you had um from previous when it was all 
yeah scrub okay. and everything mm. was a mm. mess and then after it had been cleared and the pond had been dug and the it looked devastating <laughs> it was like a very severe haircut it yeah. was yeah <laughs> but the contrast between mm. the two but actually just looking up the hillside mm. and seeing you know there's this bit here then you've got your pond then you've got yeah. your beds then you've got your flat bit then you've got where your trees are going to be all of that it's really made us um it's moved us forward a couple of years having Absolutely, it having it yes, cleared yes. Uh, we've kind of moved forward we've made a big jump into what we're trying to do with the land which is really really good a few people mentioned uh, something that made me think about we mentioned it as a food forest where we're planting our trees at the moment um and elaine's going to be so that's the land just above the van so going up the hill mm. just above the van there's like two sections there they've still got some scrub where it's all being cleared as you see on the drone yeah. shot so those two sections there is going to be what we call our food forest um and it's where elaine's going to be planting the trees i'm going to help her of course a lot of uh, them are already in they are yeah quite stomach. a few are in aren't they and you picked up some raspberries so got some raspberry plants yeah, yesterday yeah. yes uh -huh. so that's quite good so it's going to be kind of like <clears throat> i don't really know much about what a food forest is mm -hmm. but it's a permaculture idea where you kind of um integrate loads of different plants which work together with each other that's right yeah so, so you you use the different levels at which plants grow so your mm. trees obviously once they grow up they're going to be sort of your top canopy then you'll have fruit bushes then you'll have underplanted things like soft fruits strawberries herbs that kind of thing and interspersed with that you'll have things that will pull nitrogen to feed those plants so yeah just you always had that um sort of childhood when i was very yeah when i was idea and desire for a for an a, orchard, for an orchard that was the thing when i was very young I living in ashford in kent uh, very typical english orchard. <laughs> yeah at the, right down the south of the uk um, i was very young five or six and we lived next to an orchard and it was just an apple orchard from what i can remember where i was five or six but from what i could remember it was just apples and um I ha and for ever since then I've kind of had this thing in my mind that I've wanted to own an orchard didn't even know that it was a real thing that you could own an orchard you know it was never really something and then just somebody mentioned the other day when we were talking about food forest they commented uh, or an orchard and I was I was thinking to myself yeah absolutely right mm. so it's like it's like dreams coming true isn't it yeah <laughs> like absolutely. childhood dreams coming true I'm actually yeah. gonna have an orchard and even better, yeah, and even better talking about that as well, because I've just been down the land this morning and I've even, well, yeah, um, we've, we've got a lake as well, which is crazy. And mm. down there this morning, because of all the rain that we've had in the last few days, uh, it, it's, it's really full. It's yeah. really full. I couldn't believe it when Darren came back and showed mm. me like the pictures and the videos. I was like, oh my goodness, yeah. uh, the, um, the, the soft edges that have been built up are they going to hold i mean they yeah. have been packed down with the it's either gonna <laughs> the machine yeah. that yeah. jacks used yeah. you know that he was driving over every time he put another yeah. layer on top wasn't he so it is but, very well compacted <clears throat> yeah. down so i think it will hold yes yeah and it looks like it is holding but what you've also said is that it's not only going to hold that that water is going to push through into that wall yes which will which will then fill the that, gap. that's what i'm that's hoping the hope. any yeah. little bits we we know that there was or is a little leak yeah. literally coming out the back it's just mm. like a a mm. tiny dampness yeah. Um, yeah 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 but it could be also where the rain runs down the side of the lake because yeah. there is a, a footpath down there yeah. so i'm just hoping like all of that big the water is very very muddy Mm, because yeah. it's literally um, all the hillside has been landscaped and changed and moved around so the soil is all soft and fluffy and what have you mm. so all of that is washed down into the pond so it is very muddy water because it hasn't had chance to settle and then it's it sort of starts to settle and then it rains again yeah. and so everything yeah. gets disturbed but there was lots and lots of clay 
that was being dug up in the bottom of the pond and mm. I'm hoping with this sort of filling and sinking yeah, and filling and sinking that, yeah. um, that that's going to sort of push the the clay mm. into into the walls. sealing itself yeah. mm. and and doing yeah, doing it's that. Been, yeah, it's really exciting. It's been holding well, hasn't it, so far? Mm -hmm. But this is the highest it's ever been. So this is like yeah. test time now and hoping that it's all going to be fine <laughs> and it'll all hold together. Yeah. Yeah. So we were down the land, um, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, probably about a week ago. I was down the land and I found... Um, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, I think, I'm sure it's called a scat. And poo. It, a poo. <laughs> from an animal so I did some research yes and I'd found one a few days before and but forgot to see similar tonight. looking one yeah so we so I started to do a little bit of research and I think we're quite convinced that it's a cat but it's a big cat big cat big so, poo it's, yeah. <laughs> So, so yeah, so anyway, I'll, I'll kind of backtrack it. Well, that, that's, that's, that's already in my mind. So there's a big cat around here somewhere. That's already in my mind from the uh, a treat that we found on our land. <laughs> anyway, carry on that story in a slightly different direction. Three o'clock in the morning. Well, we're in here. We're sitting in here now on an evening and we got the heating on because it's quite warm. Because uh, it's quite cold outside, but it's nice and warm in here. But what that does to Max is that makes Max quite thirsty, which means we have to give Max drinks. Therefore, three o'clock in the morning, I'm awake with Max, and he takes us outside. So to it was to have a yeah to have a wee. So a few evenings ago, um, Max got me up usually as he usually does, and we went out, and it was quite misty out there. A little bit chilly, a little bit eerie, and I looked just down the street, and there was this cat, a very big cat, and I didn't have my glasses on either, so and it was very misty, but all I could see was a very big cat, and I was convinced that it was about the size of Max. It was about 30 yards or 20 yards away, just not very far. But I still didn't have my glasses on. Under the street light. There's a street light yeah, just there as well. That's right. So yeah, it was quite clear. And it was very, very white. The cat was white. Like bright white. So it was like glowing. You could imagine what it looked like at 3.30 in the morning. This white cat glowing in the street. The only thing in the whole street that was there. And it was literally glowing. And I was transfixed for about 5 or 10 seconds until I thought to myself, I either need to get the camera, a torch, or my glasses. Max had smelt something. He knew something had just walked past us. He was getting excited as well about it. What I should have done was kept looking at the cat and called Elaine, woke her up at three o'clock in the morning and said, come on, have a look at this. Is this just a really, really big cat or what is it? Anyway, by the time I'd looked for my glasses or whatever it was, which were just there, but I couldn't find them, came back out obviously and the cat had gone. Came in 3.30 in the morning, there I was, Googling it, wasn't I? White cats in Portugal. <laughs> Big white cats in Portugal. And straight away, what came up was information about lynx, wild lynx, that are Iberian lynx, yeah, that are in Portugal. And this was an article from about, I think, from memory, about 20 years ago. So it's not mm -hmm. like a new thing. Iberian lynx are here in Portugal. Yes, because they've been rewilding lots of different right. animals. Yeah. Right. So I thought to myself, okay, well, that's fine. An Iberian lynx looks amazing, and it could have been one. I don't know. Apart from the fact that it was very, very white. So I started getting really excited, thinking that I've discovered an Iberian albino. <laughs> Iberian, what am I getting all the words? <laughs> lynx. So anyway, so what did I do? Next morning, I was up, wasn't I? I'm right, I've got a... I've got to get some shots of this wild cat that we've seen the evidence for. So I've been out, overly excited, got myself a trail cam, which will be useful in all honesty. There is definitely some wild animals around here. We might be able to see some boar on an evening or... Or some deer has been suggested yeah, as well. Yeah, that was, yeah, gentleman said you've got some roe deer. 
mm-hmm. your land. So it would be really nice. But I'm hoping to catch an Iberian albino <laughs> wild lynx on this. <laughs> although, <laughs> although from anyway, I might be disappointed. <laughs> apparently, so because I've just. Had a yeah. quick chat with um, with our lovely neighbours down the road, yeah. and um, the lady was. I was saying, oh, but Darren got up in the night and yeah. told the whole story, and yeah. she looked at me and she was like, No, 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 no. Per- there is a cat in the village, and it is white, yeah, and it's a male, so it's quite big. Yeah. I said, Oh no, Darren thought it was about the size of Max. About the size of Max. She was like. Mm. No. Yeah, so I'm devastated, by the way. Um, devastated that it might not be one. <laughs> it might just be the normal cat or. <laughs> it might just but, be a very uh, big cat. Yeah. Which will be a shame. But well, I'm still. Being optimistic. Yeah, but we'll I'm still going to hunt for one because there will be one out there. So I'm still yeah. going to hunt. And I've got my camera to capture it so everybody can uh, can see what I do. Yeah. But we'll get some wild boar shots in the meantime. Yes, there's yeah. there's been a lot of um, activity further down the village. Yeah, the you've road. seen that today, yeah. haven't you? The, yeah. the road is really yeah. messy. Not yeah. not the road through the village, but like one off to, to yeah. people's mm. um, properties is really messed up. Yeah. So. so hopefully we'll get something on wild cam. And uh, so far it's just been Darren and... Max yeah, it's just been us at three thirty in the morning. <laughs> yeah, in the that's morning. all it's been on. Yeah, so literally nothing went past the house last night when I put the camera out. But it was a good test of the camera. It was absolutely stunned down with rain. It was though, pouring wasn't it, rain. all night. Yeah, so, yeah. There we so, go. So, anyway, so on the hunt for the wild lynx of mm-hmm. Portugal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, on a video just a couple of days ago, you asked about yeah, that. Yeah, I did. I brought my. I've got it. A prop too. Yes, so we So here's props. my little friend that I was asking about. Yeah. Um, coming by lots of different names from you, mm. from Cho Cho. Oh yeah, I can't remember them all. Shoo Shoo. What was the I other one similar, that I couldn't pronounce? <laughs> Ch- Chato. Okay. Quite a few different ones. Yeah. Um, but then apparently my pronunciation is very mm. bad on mm. most things. Thank you. Well, no, it's probably all the same, is what I mean. <laughs> They're probably all pronounced the same way. Do yeah. you know what I mean? It's probably just uh-huh. one word, but the language, that's what I yeah. mean. Yeah. So, yes, so we have lots of lovely ideas. Thank you mm. very much about what it is, yeah. how to use it, yeah. and that it is quite delicious, is the general opinion. Yeah. So, I'm going to check through a couple of recipes, and then in a day or two, we will chop it up, cook it, and we'll give it a go. Yeah, I think you said we're going to do that on Sunday. Yeah, probably. So what we'll do is we plan on doing a video on Sunday, this similar type of video on Sunday, but we're going to show you a few things, and we thought we'd cook that for you on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not for you. We're going to cook it for us, because we can't squash it down the camera. Oh, okay. Cook it for us. Yeah, so we'll give that a try. Mm-hmm. That's what the plan was anyway, wasn't it? It is, yes. So, and we're going to, uh, yeah, yeah. So I was just going to say, I'm not going to tell everybody what's happening on no, Sunday. Don't give the secrets no, away. we'll keep that to ourselves until Sunday and we'll see you then. But yep. does that bring us to the end of it this one? It brings it to the end for me, yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. I think this one is going to be slightly shorter. Oh. Um, one, because we're doing a daily video, mm. obviously. So um, we're really busy. Well, you're really busy. <laughs> I'm fine. Darren's really busy doing all of the um, the editing. Bits and bobs. Um, yes. Mm. I'm just sort of... It, it's, it's part of our learning experience of being aware of how much energy we have and what we can do each day. Mm. So... We're being very organised. We're, we're trying to be organised. And if we can kill two birds with one stone, <laughs> then we're doing that. Um, and I just wanted to say there that's a good point because what we did we talked a little bit ago on a Pips cast didn't we about sorry I left you hanging there we talked about bringing things the things we brought over from the UK Mm -hmm. and what we actually brought over was a whiteboard (laughs) didn't we the the whiteboard is invaluable it's 
packed of stuff. Yes. We might show you that on Sunday. Who knows? The whiteboard is full of not just ideas, but ramblings. And we talk to each other about, oh, this and an arrow goes yeah. to... The whiteboard's an amazing tool. It is, yes. Uh -huh. It's kept us right. It definitely has. <laughs> but we're going to bring today to a close. Mm -hmm. We're going to make the most of the dry spell because mm. Max hasn't been for a good yeah, walk good. Um, for the last few walks that he should have had. Yeah. So Max and I are about to get our boots on and get outside mm -hmm. and uh, I'll hand this one over to Darren and you will see it in an hour or two. Yes, yes, we'll see you very shortly and yeah. then uh, and then again tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> and the next day, and the yes, next day. That's right. Oh, what did you do to deserve this? Yeah, sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye. See you soon. Bye bye.